Celine Dion has sold more than 200 million albums. She's also a very proud mother. Tonight, she hosts a home for the holidays here on CBS. The special calls attention to the hundreds of thousands of kids living in foster homes. As Sunday morning correspondent Lee Cowan learned, it's not the only way Dion leads a personal crusade for children. Celine Dion. If she has a hallmark, it's that she sings with her heart on her sleeve. And when it comes to children, even more so. During the taping of tonight's CBS special, A Home for the Holidays, surrounded by foster children, Celine moved even herself to tears. It seemed like you got pretty emotional up there. I was trying not to look, but I was feeling all the children around the stage, and I, I, I didn't want to cry. Um, when a child is hoping for a dad or a mom, that is not acceptable. It's making me weak, making me strong. It's making me free. I'm gonna wake up and find you gone. The five-time Grammy winner has spent much of her life in the cause of children. It started long before she was a superstar, when her niece, Karin, died at only 16 from cystic fibrosis. I could feel her organs leaving one after the other, and I started to sing to her very softly, and I saw her tear coming from her eyes, and she left. We all knew that she was going to die, but the good thing is we were all together. You were my strength when I was weak. You were my voice when I couldn't speak. Since then, her Celine Dion Foundation has focused on helping other sick children. Many of them she connects with personally. I take the phone. Most of the time, the person cannot talk. For me, not even knowing that person, I, I say, I know you can hear me very well. I'm Celine Dion. I just talked to your mom, and I just want you to know that tonight I'm going to be performing and I'm going to think of you a lot. It took a long time for Celine Dion to have a family of her own. All her children are the result of IVF treatments with her longtime husband and manager, Rene Angelio. Rene Charles is now 12, and their twins, Nelson and Eddie, are three. So, how do you think being a mom has obviously it's changed a lot personally in your life, but how do you think it's changed you professionally? It's the whole purpose of my career. I mean, everything has changed in my life because of m me being a mother. Nothing will ever be the fact that the real true values are waiting for me at my house, in my heart. It's all helped inspire her first English album in six years, Love Me Back to Life, where for the first time she collaborated with R&B stars like Grammy winner, Neo. As the queen of the power ballad, this is a very different sound for you, though. But it's not a reinvention, you said. No, correct. I appreciate you say that. I don't think I wanted to try to re reinvent myself. If, you worry about me, I'm okay. oh, if it's not a reinvention, it is a little less grand and a little more grit. Instead of having the heart, it was more like the soul trying a little less. Can you can you do it for me? What's what's different about it? It's a little smokier. It's a little. It would. Drier. I would say it has like. Um, instead of saying, "I'm tired of this empty house. I need a drink to get me out. A couple more till I forget your name." I'm gonna say, "I'm tired of this empty house. I need a drink to get me out. A couple more." Till I forget your name. But it's motherhood, not music, that gives her her greatest joy these days. There's no way for me to ever think that I can do my passion without them. It starts there. Incredible. And tonight, while raising awareness of the some 400,000 foster kids nationwide who are hoping for a home this holiday, She's reminded, fame and fortune aside, just how lucky she's been. We were incredible, soon be incredible. 
I thought I had it all. I thought I met love. I thought I was at the, the maximus of my, what I could achieve in my life. I can say to you that I have a life. I had a career, and now I have a life. A life as moving off stage as on. CBS This Morning, I'm Lee Cow in Los Angeles. I've seen her Vegas show twice and seen her in concert three times. I kind of am smitten with Celine Dion. I know, because you were singing along during the whole segment. <laughs> I know, I already, I already have. Is that annoying to you, Anthony? Mason? No, I actually kind of enjoy it. <laughs> no, I, when that Titanic song came out, you know, uh, My Heart Will Go, and I used yeah. to play that all the time. People around me said, if you play it one more time, <laughs> I'm going to kill you. But I, I love her voice, and she's 45. Look how great she looks. It's terrific. Fabulous. Congratulations to Celine. You can watch Home for the Holidays with Celine Dion tonight at 8, 7. Central right here on CBS.